You've been living in a dream world, Neo. All right, this is Mike Sigula from TrueFury.com and welcome to another video. So, why everything is a lie? Why everything is an illusion? Why do I think that everything is a lie? You know, one of the things that I always find interesting is that most people just believe everything that comes to them from TV, governments, corporations, authority figures, scientists, media, etc. And uh, one thing that I've learned over my life, spending years on researching things, looking at history, trying to understand both sides of the story, one thing that I've learned is that most things in this world are an illusion. Most things that people believe to be true are not true. So to me, I find it just fascinating that, you know, new lie comes up and people just naively believe it. So today I want to kind of remind people where do we live? <laughs> what is really happening on this planet? Because it, it's just really easy to fall into false programming where you're constantly being bombarded with lies and people just start accepting them, you know, they start taking them seriously. If you look at the world, you know, we can observe very clearly that most people have a mask. Most people wear a mask, we all have egos. And basically, there is a difference between what people think and what people do, right? You know, very often we think one thing and then we do something completely different. So we create this mask, this fake persona to deal with other people, to get what we want. This is... Uh, you know, something very normal in society. And typically that mask, the, the reason why there is a lack of coherence between the insight, what we think and what we say, is because people are selfish and they want something for themselves. So they're gonna pretend, they're gonna, you know, wanna be likable, wanna behave nicely to get what they want, for example. And if vast majority of people act in this way, what do you think happens on all different levels? If people have masks to get more for themselves, then obviously everything that is created by people needs to reflect the same characteristics. Corporations, for example. Right? We have media that has agenda. It's not about being accurate. It's about promoting certain views, hiding other ones, creating whatever cells, whatever people gonna click on, you know, and things like that. Same thing with corporations. For example, why you go and buy a burger in a chain and it has 50 ingredients <laughs> why do they put 50 different ingredients in a burger instead of i don't know five meat bun made of some wheat and yeast and i don't know ma mayo and something like that why a burger has 50 different ingredients and half of them we can't even pronounce because they hire a bunch of best scientists spend millions on research to create a product that will be addictive addictive they they have all these chemicals you know phds who try to create something that's gonna smell nicely you know you're gonna get addicted you're gonna it won't it's gonna work on your uh, dopamine levels and things like that so you crave for more and more and more 
and obviously the side effects are your health because it, this is definitely not something healthy so this is just a simple example of how everything in society works you have layers which we interact with right that are unreal that are false that are all coming from ego and then we have the real thing behind everything works this way whether it's politics health corporations education system science everything has the same characteristics there is a version for the masses and there is a truth right to so basically everything is an illusion yet people still forget about it and start believing when you know the guy wearing a suit speaks nicely <laughs> they listen you know so i want to just remind you how it all works because it's very easy to lost yourself in a sea of propaganda and lies and really start believing in all that so let me give you some examples let me give you this example you know a couple of years ago I was working as a bartender for a popular restaurant chain in England and I spent there eight years first couple of years I think first three years was full-time then I was working part-time for the rest of this period because I I was just busy you know studying doing other things working on my businesses projects things like that but I needed money to support myself so I would work as a bartender so I had a very good insight into very popular restaurant company in the UK very popular among families uh, they at that time I don't remember maybe 50 they had like 50 restaurants or something like that it was a popular uh, family owned business and I worked for their biggest restaurant for the most the busiest restaurants they owned it was crazy busy one of the very popular spots in London so over eight years working for this company not only in that restaurant sometimes I would work in their different branches you know I had a very 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 good glimpse into the world behind the scenes the world that the customers don't see so let's say you come to this restaurant as a customer it's a beautiful restaurant they spent millions of pounds to design to, to build this create this restaurant you come there you have these cool menus it's a recognized brand cool products cool dishes from different parts of the world everything looks really nice you have waitresses smiling you know nice decor good music everything looks good this is what the customer sees right it looks good but behind the scenes <laughs> the world is completely different so from my perspective of someone who is working there as a staff member and knows the restaurant and the company pretty well i can tell you that everything was a complete illusion so let me give you some examples honestly i could talk for hours about all the crazy things going on behind the scenes in that company for example we had a general manager who had a you know a problem with coke pretty frequently everyone knew about it he would uh, you know do it at work another manager got fired for drinking at work I remember situations when a rat would fall from the ceiling on someone's table nothing unusual or the pipes would broke in the toilet and the whole floor in on the back of the restaurant would be filled with shit and piss <laughs> nothing unusual the guys in the kitchen i remember a guy smoking crack on the breaks uh, half of the people coming wasted after parties the periods when it was really busy which was quite often <laughs> when we were making 
cocktails. We didn't even have time to shake the cocktails or anything because there was no time. It was way too busy. So we would have everything prepared and just pour cocktails from the, ready from the jug, stir it. No one even used any gloves or anything, you know, or scoop. You just grab ice, put it inside, boom, that's it. Obviously, customers didn't have access to the bar, so they didn't see what we were doing. But basically, everything on the other side was a lie, you know. Half of the products were like frozen, heated up in a microwave or something like that. At the beginning, they had higher standards, but over time, you know, it was about money, so they had to optimize everything so they can make more profits. Nothing ever worked there because it was way too busy. They packed everything so fridges wouldn't work, you know, storage areas, the, the air conditioning wouldn't work. There was just a constant mess, constant chaos and drama and all sorts of really crazy, crazy things going on behind the scenes. But when you come as a customer, everything looks nice and beautiful. But from the inside, from the other side, everything is completely different. You know, there would be fights in the kitchen sometimes. Really all sorts of bizarre, crazy things. So this is obviously not unusual and this is just completely normal. Uh, this is how the restaurant world works. If you are working in a busy environment, in a busy restaurant, <laughs> The things that you see from a perspective of a customer has no, have nothing to do with what's happening behind the scenes. And, um, you know, this is just a random example. Let's take another example. I'm filming this video using my Samsung phone. And uh, if you look at these corporations like Samsung, like Apple, <laughs> everything about these devices comes from some kind of exploitation, you know, let's say a battery made of lithium ion cobalt. Read about cobalt, mining of cobalt in Congo, how, you know, child labor is used, how the environment is being destroyed there. And this is only materials, right? What about technology? You know, Samsung stealing technology from Apple. <laughs> Jobs sued Samsung for stealing their device, their tech, and uh, they were fighting in the courts for years. You know, Samsung lost, obviously, paid some money, but over this period of time, they made maybe 100 times more. <laughs> So why would they care? I mean, you know, why would they care that they stole the technology? You know, they're gonna pay some pocket money, pretend that they're sorry, fight a legal battle for a couple of years, and then at the end they ended up making way more that they lost. These are just some examples, but everything on this planet on every single level in this society comes from ego, from this mask. So it's very obvious that everything is a lie, whether it's health, whether it's governments, whether it's corporations, whether it's news, everything has some level of that. And typically the rules are that the higher the competition, the more deception, the more conspiracy is involved. It's very simple, very easy, you know. If the stakes are high, there is way more backstabbing, there is way more people, you know, pushing each other, stealing from each other, competition is higher, so there is going to be more conspiracy. That means that for the, the bigger the corporation or the the power structure, like for example, presidents and things like that, the more of these lies and things gonna happen, right? This is just a simple structure. Same as throughout the history. This is nothing new. And we know from history that one thing that never changes is that there are few on the top and the rest 
on the bottom that fight for survival. Same as hundreds of years ago, this <laughs> never really changed. And then they're gonna tell you, oh, you just have to work hard and you can be on the top, right? <laughs> yeah, and you have to be also corrupted. You, you also have to have no ethics, you know, be a selfish prick, have no empathy, be a psychopath. Yeah, not everyone wants to be like that, <laughs> maybe, and be corrupted as well, because the higher the stakes, the more corrupted everything is. All I'm trying to say here is that to not really believe everything you see out there. You know, if you have big pharma, you look at their history, false information, you know, promoting fake stuff just to make money. Sometimes a lot of these corporations, they don't care about your health, they care about profits, right? So when something's gonna come out and it's gonna turn out that they've been lying and they didn't test something properly or whatever, you know, by that time, they made 100 times more than the fees to the court. <laughs> and the guy who was in charge is already gone. He, he already had his bonuses paid. And people still gonna just listen to them. They, they gonna believe everything, you know? This is what I find fascinating, how gullible people are these days. And they never learn from anything, from history, you know, from things like that. You know, I think it's just because lies are normal and people kind of are so used to, to hearing lies constantly. They don't really think anymore. They don't have that BS filter and you should have a BS filter. BS filter basically is critical thinking, you know, evaluating if something makes sense or not. And when you have three letter agencies that are known for deception and lies or some of the biggest corporations that have history of lying and deception and profit is the main thing, not ethics, and they tell you something, then you probably should question what they say. This is the message I'm trying to make here. Spe same with politics, you know. Politicians are only interested in getting elected and having power. And they're gonna tell you what you wanna hear, so you vote for them, you know. Every few years, like this time, things gonna be different. <laughs> so this is my message. This is uh, what I find so interesting when I observe society and I look at people and I think, why do they still believe these liars? You know, why do they never learn anything? So it's really healthy to think critically and not just believe everything that comes towards you because someone wears a tie or has PhD on their, you know, on their certificates or something like that. Hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And thanks for watching. And if this resonates, please share it with others. Give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. And till next time.